It's the grandson of Right Thought. And welcome to the School of Marvelous Light. Remember how recently on my video I told you guys about the Son of Man? And then I was referencing Ezekiel? And I was referencing the Son of Man? And how I broke down what the Son of Man actually was referring to and what it actually means? You see? We were talking about that recently. We're going to bring some greater clarity to it out of Yahusha's own mouth so that everybody can understand what's going on. And recently, this morning, actually, I received a comment and the person was asking me, so you're going to be the first one to see him, grandson. Is that what you're saying? I believe it was a question they were asking me. You're going to be the first one to see him. We're going to read about it so that everybody can gain the same clarity and the same understanding from the same mouth, Yahushua's mouth. Okay? So get your Bible. Go to the book of John, chapter 12. The book of John, chapter 12. And before we get into the meat of what Yahushua is saying, we're going to give some context as to the time that he's saying these things. What is going on at this time in his life when he makes these statements? Okay? So we'll start at verse 1 so we can get some context. It says, John 12, verse 1. Then Yahusha, six days before the Passover, so you see the time frame, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. And there they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. So this is six days before the Passover. Y'all remember Lazarus who was dead that he raised? Come forth, Lazarus. Now he's alive sitting at the table eating. <laughs> then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Yahusha, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then saith one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who should betray him. So the betrayer then came and said, Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And he had the bag and bare what was put therein. So he was the holder of the money. So he didn't care nothing about the poor. He was trying to get that money and steal it for himself. Then said Yahusha, let her alone. Against the day of my burying has she kept this. For the poor always you have with you, but me you have not always. Much people of the Jews therefore knew that he was there. And they came not for Yahushua's sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. So, y'all see what's going on? But the chief priests consulted that they may put Lazarus also to death. <laughs> so, y'all hear this? So, the chief priests consulted that they may not only kill Yahushua, but kill Lazarus as well. The evidence of what Yahushua had done. You see? Because that by reason of him, who? Lazarus, many of the Jews went away and believed on Yahusha. See? Because every time you see Lazarus walking around, he's a testament to the fact that Yahusha can do what? Bring you back from the dead again. You see? Like he's done for the grandson of right thought, who once was lost and now be found, who once was dead but now is alive. You see, you don't read about the prodigal son and see what the father says to his son? Okay, then. So there's a lot going on, but we're going we're gonna to get into a little bit more of the, uh, the meat of the conversation. So on the next day, much people that were come to the feast, verse 12, when they heard that Yahushua was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Yashana! Blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of Yah. Y'all hear that? Blessed is the king of Israel that comes in the name of Yah. You hear that? 
He comes in the name of Yah. Now, when I told you guys before, I said in the name. What do that mean in the name? Do that mean you just wear a person's name on you and, you, and that's all? No, it means in like manner or like Abba. You see? Coming like the Father. And how was he coming? And Yahusha, when he had found a young ass, see, sat thereon as it is written. See? And they, when they saw him coming on that young colt, they knew who he was. So they started to grab branches and say, Yasha, nah, see? Yasha, Yasha, is what they're saying, not Hosanna. They're saying, Yasha, which means Yah saves. And nah means right nah. <laughs> Yasha is saving. When they saw him, that's what they're saying. Yasha is saving. Yasha is saving. You see? Yasha, Yah, who comes in the name of Yah. Yasha, Yah. Then what's my name? Okay then, like I've been telling y'all since the beginning. Yashaya. You see? We're getting more into the meat, like I told you. Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king comes sitting on an ass's colt. That's the prophecy. Which is also a foreshadowing of the end. A man riding on a colt. Into Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem. And when they see him coming, listen, y'all, when they see him coming to the new Jerusalem on that coat, they're going to be saying, Yashana. To who? Yashaya. Y'all don't see this, what I've described to you? Come on, we're going to get deeper into it, though. 16, watch. These things understood not his disciples at the first. Listen carefully, y'all. That means the elect, not just any old body, the ones that believe the truth and know the truth. The disciples, his students, see, the ones who are studying Yahusha, they didn't understand this at first. That's why the grandson of right thought is here to bring clarity to it so that you can understand it. Don't you see? But when Yahusha was glorified, see, when he was glorified, y'all, then remembered they that these things were written of him and that they had done these things unto him. See? All right. So we're going to jump ahead a little bit. And then, okay. Let's go to verse 23. Now we're about to really, really get deep into the meat real quick, y'all. All right? And Yahushua answered them saying, the hour is come that the Son of Man, listen y'all, should be glorified. So the time has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground. I'm going to use the analogy that Abba gave me. Except a caterpillar go into a cocoon. Listen y'all to the grandson because he's giving it to you pure. Unless, unless a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, unless a caterpillar go into a cocoon and die, it abideth alone. It'll just be a seed sitting there. It'll just be a caterpillar sitting there on a branch. But if it die, if it go into a cocoon, it bringeth forth much fruit. It transforms into a brand new thing. He that loveth, listen carefully to this. What Yahushua is telling you is the way out. And how is the way out of the matrix? To give up your life. You guys don't know that Abaya love you? That if you give up your life, he will give you a new one in exchange for the one you gave up? You think when you give up your life, you just cease to exist? Is that what you think? Well, then you've been taught a lie. You must give up your false life in exchange for the new life. You have to give up your life as a caterpillar to become a life as a cat, as a butterfly. You have to give up your life as a seed in order to grow into a plant. That's what he's telling you. Verily, verily, truly, truly, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, so in, if you die... It bringeth forth much fruit. The seed that's planted in you will burst forth new life if they take the life that you have now. 
So then give it up willingly. Let's see if that's what Yahshua going to tell you to do. The same thing the grandson been yelling to y'all to do. Same thing the grandson been yelling to y'all to do. To give up your mundane life and die to it. So that you can have a new life in Christ. That's the only way, y'all. The way is narrow and few going to find it. Few going to find it. Because y'all ain't willing to listen to what I'm saying to you right now. That's it. Let's keep going. He that loveth his life shall lose it. Okay, is that not what I just told you? He, now listen carefully. He that hates his life, where? In this world, people. So if you love your life that you have in this world, then your ass is wicked. You're going to die and you ain't going to inherit shit. But if you hate the life that you live in this world, this wicked, backwards, upside down, unrighteous, can't judge righteous judgment as iniquity filled as world. Then you will inherit a new life. Watch. Let's read it. And he that hated his life in this world shall keep it. What? His life unto life eternal. No. If any man serve me, like I told y'all, what did I say? I said, everything I see Christ do, I'm going to do it. Whatever my father does, I will do. <laughs> y'all not following me? Well, let's see. He says, if you follow me, if any man serve me, let him follow me. That means do what I do. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. Y'all don't hear me though. So, where am I? I am where Yahusha is. So if you are where I am, then where are you? See, if you if you're connected to if you are connected to the branch, then you are indeed connected to the true vine. You see how this working? You see how there's no lies in this? There's no way I could tell you this and be lying to you. There's no way. Abba would not allow it to be so. Don't you understand that? The way to be connected to the true vine is the branch, is it not? Can y'all tell me another way to be connected to the true vine other than, uh, other than the branch that's connected to the true vine? Can you tell me another way to be connected to it? Well, let's keep on reading see what he says. He says, follow after me and where I am, there shall my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. So anybody who will follow Yahusha and do what Yahusha do, the father will treat that man like he treats Yahusha. Is that not what you just read? So are, why are y'all so surprised the grandson of right thought talks as Yahusha? Why are y'all surprised by that if you've read your Bible and studied what we're reading right now? You disciples, it's because you didn't understand it at the first. That's why I have to come and remind you of it. And I'm doing that right now. Tell me I'm not. Continuing. Now is my soul troubled. Listen. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. So he's about to face his glorification, he called it, which is you call death. See, he calls it glorification. Oh, man, y'all not hearing the grandson? Why are y'all afraid of death today? Why are you listening to those doctors lie to you to try to preserve your life? Why are you listening to preppers to try to save your life? Why are you listening to all of these business gurus on how to save your money, how to save your life? When you're supposed to be giving it up and not afraid of death because through death will you enter into the kingdom of heaven. That is the way. It's narrow. Many people don't want to go through that ideal. But look what Yahushua said. He said, what shall I say? Save me from it? Run from it? Hide from it? Don't take this on? But this is the reason I was made. Y'all don't hear the man talking to y'all? This is the reason why I came into this world. Now listen more. Father, glorify thy name. What is the father's name? I am. What is the grandson's name glorify? That the father's name is what? See how it ain't no lies or shit. Father, he says, glorify thy name. 
Then came there a voice from heaven, listen, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Do you hear that, Israel? So what Abba has just told you is, through you, Yahusha, I have glorified my name in the earth, and I'm going to do this process again. Is that not what you heard? He's doing it now through the grandson. I am is his name. Stop using his name in vain and use it in truth. And then you will be glorifying his name like the grandson do. I am blessed. I am alive. I am strong. I am healthy. I am wise. I am smart. I am everything I need to be. Every single day is so perfect just for me. Because I am an Abba Yah's perfect harmony. <laughs> just made that up right now. Because that's just the truth. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth is going to speak it. I'm not going to talk down of Abaya because I know his name. I'm going to glorify it, just like he said right here. He's going to glorify his name again. Continuing, the people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said, it thundered. What thundered? The voice. And others said, an angel spake to him. Yahusha answered and said, this voice came not because of me, but for your sake. Listen carefully. Now is the judgment of this world. Y'all hear that? Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Do you hear that? Okay. Verse 31. Just look at that verse right now very carefully and read what it says again to yourself within your heart. Judgment of this world, the prince of this world shall be cast out. Okay. Okay. Now, when the comforter is come, he shall reprove the world of sin and of judgment of judgment. Why? For those who know of judgment, why is the comforter going to repro reprove the world of judgment? Why? Because the prince of this world is judged. So it's the same thing he's going to do as Christ just said in this verse right here. Isn't that what the comforter is going to do according to Christ? Reprove the world of judgment and let them know that the prince of this world has been judged. Is that not what is written? So he's going to do the same thing. Just like Abba said, I have glorified my name and I'm going to do it again. Continuing. Now watch. The prince of this world be cast out. So once the branch announces that the prince of this world has been cast out, which I have done, what happens next? And I, if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me. So when he goes up, he will draw all men unto himself. What does it say? The son of righteousness, right thought, shall rise with healing in his wings. You see? This he said, signifying what death he should die. Y'all hear that? Being lifted up from the earth. The people answered him, we have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever. Good, good statement. See, they said, hold on. We've heard that Christ can't die. He lives forever. And now says you, the son of man must be lifted up. Who is this son of man? See, church, like I told you, I said, they, the church, they don't understand what the son of man means. They're proving it to you right there saying, who is this son of man you're talking about? Do y'all hear this or what? Y'all are getting the gifts of life given right into your hands, right from the source, because I'm connected to the source, giving it to you. That's why you ain't hearing this from nobody else. What I'm telling you today, that this is happening now. This is being fulfilled now. I told you the seven years is up and I'm about to be lifted up. I made a song about it called Way High. I'm going up, I'm way up. I'm going up, up, way in the sky. I'm going up, up, way we are. I'm going up, up, way high. I'm going up, up, way we are. I'm going up, up, way in the sky. I'm going up, up, way we are, yeah. You think I'm just making that up? I'm going up, away with Yah. Y'all don't hear me singing that to you right now at the end of my seven-year journey of... Okay, let me, let me get off the subject. Let me get back to the scriptures, y'all. <laughs> let me get back to the scriptures. All right. This he says, signifying the death which you should die. The people answer, saying, we've heard that Christ abideth forever. How says you, the son of man, must be lifted up? Who is the son of man? Now watch. 35. Then Yahusha said unto them. Remember the question. There's two questions being asked. The son of man must be lifted up? 
And who is this son of man? Let's see the answer. Then Yahushua said unto them, Yet a little while is delight with you. Do you hear it? The light is the son of man. The light was the light of men. The word in the beginning. That's the son of man. The word of God that is put into the mouth of a man. Now do you hear the word of God coming out of my mouth or what? So who that mean I am then? Let's let Yahushua break it down for you, all you that didn't understand. Let's let him break it down. Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while you have the light. Lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he's go where he goeth. 36. While you have light. While you have the son of man with you. Believe in the light. Believe in the son of man. That you may be the children. See the son of light. See. These children of truth, these things spake Yahusha and departed, and he did hide himself from them. So why didn't he just go, I'm the son of man? Why didn't he say that? Why didn't he say, why, why did he answer them? It's the light. The truth is the son of man. Do y'all hear it clearly? That's what he was saying. And then walk with the truth while you have it. That's why I told you guys, walk with me. Because then you'll go where I'm going. I will, you, I will draw you unto me when I rise. You just have to by faith believe that what I'm telling you is true because of the word I'm giving you. Nothing else. Because of the word I'm giving you. You see? I'm confirming everything I've ever taught you by Yahushua showing it to you. Not me. You understand? I'm going to him to confirm it for you. Let's continue. He did hide himself from them, see? But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Y'all hear it? They didn't believe that the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Abba, who hath believed our report? See, just like the grandson. I'm giving y'all a report. But who believes it? And to whom have the arm of Abba Yah been revealed? The arm, the branch, the extension of God. Don't you see it? Therefore, they could not believe. Because that Isaiah said again, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah, when he saw his glory and spake of him. I'm going to read that again so that you guys can understand. Another son of man. Isaiah, it says here. Isaiah. Isaiah. Because his name is Isaiah. You notice that's how it's spelled? E-S-A-I-A-S. -A -A Isaiah. Did y'all hear that or What? Verse 40, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. So he has blinded their eyes so that you can't heal them, Yesayas. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. I would heal them. I would rafa them if they would allow me to, but they've been blinded by God. So that I can't, because if I if they were not blinded, they would hear everything I'm saying in great clarity. Like you who are sitting here nodding your hair saying, I'm seeing this and I'm getting it. You have eyes to see and ears to hear, like I told you on my other video, and now Yahushua's proving it to you. He's proving it to you. You have not been blinded by God. God gave you grace to receive this message or how to get home from the one who was never blinded as to how to get home. Once he was converted into a butterfly. Don't you see it? Continuing. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers, also many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. <laughs> Verse 42. 
Yahusha cried and said, He that believeth on me believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. So the same thing I tell you guys. When you believe the grandson of right thought, you're not believing the grandson of right thought. You're believing Yahusha because I'm only telling you what Yahusha said. I'm not telling you what the grandson of right thought is made up. So you're not believing me. You're believing Yahusha who's telling you about me through me. See? And he that seeth me seeth him that sent me. So if you have seen the grandson of right thought, look at him good because you've seen Yahusha. If you see the grandson of right thought, thought Yesiah, then you have seen the Christ. Now look at him good. If you've ever seen a video of mine or a picture of mine, look at him good and see. I, listen at this, I am come a light into the world. Now, did you see the son of man was the light? I am come a light. Remember how I told you guys, two lights in a dark world. I am a light. You see, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. See, in lies, deceptions, tricks. If you listen to me and walk with me through this journey of life, then you won't be in darkness anymore ever again because I will only give you light. I will never lie to you or deceive you ever. I will never have guile in my mouth when I talk to you. I take that extremely seriously that I am very humble before the father before I come speak to you. I say, father, I don't have any ego, any mindset, any willings, any feelings or any damn thing to do with this message. I'm not going to think before I open my mouth. I'm going to hit record and you're going to talk, not me. See, if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Oh, hear this shit. So Yahushua said, I didn't come to judge the world because who's going to judge the world? If you know the prophecy, then you know he is going to execute judgment and justice. Who? The branch. I showed y'all this yesterday. In the video, or this morning, in the video. You see? Let's keep getting into it. He that rejects me and receives not my words, he has one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. See the word. So the same word that Yahushua has spoken will be in the mouth of someone else in the last days who is going to convict the nigga for not keeping Yahushua's words. That's me. I'm the one yelling out to the whole wide world that y'all have not done what your master told you to do. Simple the fuck as that. Y'all haven't done it. You think you're doing it. You're not. See? For I have not spoken of myself, but the father which sent me. Just like me, I have not spoken of myself. I have spoken of the father who sent me, Yahushua. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him. Okay, I got to jump back, my bad. He gave me a commandment. And what should I say? And what should I speak? So he's saying he told me what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that this commandment is life everlasting. And whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the father said unto me, so I speak. So the grandson of right thought is just telling you guys what Yahushua has told me. That's it. Or else I couldn't be here to tell you. I couldn't teach with authority as I know it. I would be teaching you as if I think it. You know what I'm trying to explain to you? I wouldn't be telling you as though I know it with great confidence. But since I do know it with great confidence, then I can teach it differently than someone who don't know it. Like those disciples who didn't understand the son of man. And that's why Christ hid himself from them. Y'all don't hear it though. Y'all don't hear it though. So like I said, rejoice. Yashana and Yashana in the highest. Okay? Because let me ask y'all a question real quick. Y'all so-called believers in Yahusha. Y'all so-called believers in Christ. You ones that say you believe in Christ. You servants of Christ, however you want to put it. If you were in a battle over this truth with anyone, would you want the grandson to be on your team or would you want him to be on the team that's fighting against you? Silawam Israela.